What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Maniachi Gaming Channel, and welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla on the PlayStation 5. Now, listen, I know it has been a while. It's been a long time since I've recorded an episode of Assassin's Creed. It's been a long time since I played this game, to be honest, and I'm extremely behind. I got this game around the time when it first came out. I've been seeing everyone, everyone finish the game almost instantly, and I was thinking about kind of dropping this series because I'm like, man, I'm so late on this game, you know, but I, I really want to get through this game. I've seen that they came out with DLCs for it, expansions for the game, and I'm still literally, I was watching T. Martin, and the point that I'm at in the game is like his episode two or three, and he has like over, I think, 30 episodes of this game, and I've been reading that the, the story mode takes anywhere from 30 to 40 hours to complete. And I feel like I'm only like a couple of hours into this game, man. So my goal, my goal is to, is to finish this game before Ratchet and Clank come out. Ratchet and Clank comes out next month. I already reserved it. I paid for it. It's already set. I want to finish this game before Ratchet and Clank comes out. <laughs> Hello so, and well met. That's the goal. All right, so now we're in Ravensthorpe. This is our little community that we're building where we left off. Uh, I guess there's little things you can build. Let's see, we have horses. Our right, trading poles. We got a dog right here. I'm gonna pet you. How's it going? Get you a little medieval dog. All right. Greetings. All right. So I need to speak to Sigurd. See what we can get into. Looking at the map. Let's see. We got. Look like we got some raids. We got a lot of stuff going on. Like I said, I don't even think we we put a dent in this game yet but i'm for sure back on the grind on assassin's creed like i said i just want to get through this game i really enjoy playing it it's an incredibly fun game the saxons break their kingdoms into smaller territories called shires Eivor, in here what will you keep in this room my finest weapon for this room is yours here you may lay your head okay. hang your axe or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well. But I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on that wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together as ever. So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. All right. Got a little crib over here. Okay, I like this. Seeger. Letterbox for messages and requests. All right, it looks like I got a new letter in there. Seeger. All right, Seeger's letter, Ivor. I hope this room fits your needs. As we grow our reputation in this land and make new friends and allies, it will be important to keep constant communication with them. Ranvi will drop any letter you receive into this box. Have a look from time to time. Seeger. So that's just something that we're going to check regularly uh, as we continue on with it. What do we got over here? Uh, consult Ravensthorpe's status. All right. Behold our new encampment born from a suit heap left by the sons of Ragnar. It may look a bit shabby now, but with some effort, we will soon be a beacon of trade and culture. We currently have the capacity for the following service. So we got blacksmith, hidden ones, bureau, stable and, and avery, trading posts, and barracks. Uh, once the blacksmith's forge is up and running, I would recommend building the hidden ones bureau as Hytham can help us win alliances in the cities of England. Speak to me if you have any more questions. Rant by. Okay, so they're recommending the first thing that we build in our village is the hidden ones bureau for Hytham. Hmm. So this is our bed right here. A bed better than many I've slept in. And a good place to recover. Hmm. Not much. But it is mine. Alright. Let's see what some other things we could uh interact with. 
stirring dinner right here. Okay. Well, look who it is. It's me. Practicing your wordplay, Albus. Ah, Eivor. <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Yeah. Let's try flighting. Can do that. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. Alright, uh... With your teaching, I'm sure my next challenger I will slay. Mm, no. The rhyme is good, but too many words upsets the rhythm. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Uh, then I'll spit in your face and I'll bash in your skull. Then I will spit in your face and I will bash in your skull. Not bad, not bad. The rhyme is there, the sound is good, but... Consider that I said you were silly and you told me you would kill me. At times it might be best to remain on theme. Something to consider. Last one. So go then and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. Uh... I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, There we yes. go. There we go. <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. There's still much for you to learn about flighting, but I'm confident you'll pick it up. Happy to help you learn, if you'd like to come back again. Perhaps I will. Thank you, Albus. I'm not gonna lie, when he said flighting, I thought we were gonna, like, do some diving or something. See, so we got a poem, definitely not reading that. Alright, let's go and have some fun, let's go. We're ready to ride at a moment's notice. Count on it, my friend. The path ahead is bright. With glory at its end. Farewell, Eivor. But, but why now? Dad, please. This must be done. Yes! What was that about? Is Basim leaving us already? Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit, to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. But we have more pressing plans. I am riding to Leicestershire, to a town called Repton. Eivor, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. I can come now. I only need a horse. Not yet. First speak with Randvi. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement, you must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd, for I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dag. You belong here with the raiders, and you will act as Eivor commands. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes, and I will keep our raiders sharp. as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. I would sooner take orders from a louse. Wow. Alright. So I got two skill points. There's so many, like, side objectives. I really want to just stay focused on the main objectives. Eivor. All right, river raids are available. New activities become available. Brings new buildings. So, you know, as the more that My we... My stable is a bit spared just now, but if you can build me something better, 
I promise you the finest of beasts. A bustling stable would be a great boon here. I will see what I can do. All right. So the, the more raids we go on, you know, the more loot we can obtain and add to our settlement. Ah, there you are. You wanted to see me. As Sigurd has so ordered, it falls to us to expand our presence in England. He wants to forge alliances, I am clad, with every Norse, Dane, and Saxon here. Right. We are the outsiders here. Making friends will help. Where do we start? My scouts come and go daily with interesting news and tidings, and I'm beginning to get my bearings in this fractured land. As I learn more, I can give you insight into each territory before you commit to a journey there. Of course. Once you have gained an ally in a territory, return home and speak to me. We'll decide your next move then. I understand. So, where do we start? You have two options just now. Join Sigurd in Leatherchestershire to the north and meet with the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, or head south to Grantebridgeshire to meet an army of Danes led by one Guthrum Jarl and his second, Soma. I should add, our young friend Hytham has been conferring with his own contacts in the cities. His research could be useful in winning us alliances throughout the cities of England. Speak with him and see what he needs. I want to see the Alliance map. Alright, the Alliance map, if you want your settlement to thrive in England, your clan must forge alliances. Pledge to a territory to confirm your interest in an alliance. As pledges are completed and allies are made, other territories will be made available. Okay. Uh, Tell me more about Letter Chestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current king of Mercia, with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. That's really bold. I should be there to help, however I can. I think you should. Alright, so we're pledging to, to that place. I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north on the River Trent. Gotcha. Okay. Hello, Eivor. Can you remind me what you do here? Whatever you need for your longship, my husband and I are happy to help. We have quite an eye for these things. But right now, we're more concerned with you building us a place to do our work. Uh, okay. Get on that soon, won't you? I'm off. Be well, friend. Don't be a stranger. Yeah, everyone just wants me to do stuff. Everybody does. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. He's up there. Might stop and do a little raid. I think we can do that. Oh, uh, oh, they ready? Oh, they ready? We almost there, fellas. All right, discovered a new territory. We about to get our raid on. Let's see how far. Oh, we still got some distance. All right, seems like we're here. A little pit stop on our way up to Sigurd. This is a, another territory. Here we go! Let's go to war! Let's go to war! Come on!
we got Come on. like we got some we got some treasures on Give this things we could uh we could raid here but it's all good we can head back to the ship and we can uh head back to Seagirt. that was a, a full-on war man <laughs> oh man Castle. Very well established, we'll say that. Discovered Repton. No! No! Stay. Please! Who stands before Ivar Ragnarsson? Ivor is who I am. Are you Sigurd Stranger? Igor! Eivor! Keep that up. Stay in the floors. 
The place could use some color. <laughs> <coughs> Who are they? <sighs> All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending spies. <laughs> now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. <laughs> hey! This man is crazy. Good boy. You're free, Saxon piggy, to run amok through the Mercian fields. This man is cutthroat. I would have let him down easy. Hmm. <laughs> Follow me. Oh, this guy. I'll give you the tour. This guy is something else. What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Repton. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine their weeping when we drove them out. You plunged your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. We've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofrid. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to dig the wax from your ears. Too. I'm just looting everything. Don't play me for a fool, Abba. I know Bergridson. I'm not going anywhere, Backrot. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our hex silver hoard. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. <laughs> this guy is something else. He kinda looks like Mickey Rourke. Haggling over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. This is one of them. My worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Upa and Eivor here are hunting a king. And when we've caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Shell Wolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. Mm. I mean. The current king would definitely want your head. I can't imagine the current king is too happy about all this. Burgred is furious, of course. But this is our new reality. And I won't sit idly while he drags our kingdom through the dirt. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jailwolf means to change that. There'll be a new king for a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole, only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, remove Burgred and crown Shellwolf, come morning the Shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes, remove. I cannot stress that enough. Burgred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of I mean, a king. Kinda does. Ah, but it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar. 
and we will honor it. Uh, I guess let's do it. This is a good plan, brother. I'm ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne and you will have it. I swear. All right. Shook on it. The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah! You never said this one was a poet. Yeah. I need to piss. We have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We will be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come. If only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheerwolf. We all stand to benefit, and you'll be remembered for this for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. All right, Kingmaker Saga. Lively town. Quite a lot to see here. Definitely is. It's a whole lot going on here. Alright, I think I'm going to end episode here. Next episode, all the craziness is going to begin. Like I said, I'm back on my grind on this Assassin's Creed. I appreciate you all for tuning in. And until the next episode, I'll see you then. Thank you for watching the Money Yachty Gaming Channel. I'm out.